Welcome back to Valixo. When we create our Valixo functions to view our data, we may find it necessary to use parameters which include lists, ranges, or wildcard values. Let's take a look at how using these techniques can help us find the data we're looking for. I'm going to add another row here above my first account and copy this row so I can still have the closing balance function in cell D8. For this example, I want to see the closing balance for the month of June for all the accounts from 10010 to 12500. To do this, we'll add a colon in between the two accounts. Once I press enter, we see the balance update here in cell D8. If we highlight these cells, at the bottom of the screen, we can verify the sum of these accounts, showing us that the range is working properly. However, we do see an error message here in cell B8 because the account name function is trying to find an account with this exact number, which doesn't exist. We can just delete what is in cell B8 to remove the error message. If instead of using a range, we wish to create a list, we can do so by adding the values to the cell with semicolons in between. For example, we could show the balance for only accounts 10100, 10400, and 12500 by adding those account codes to the cell. Sometimes we may wish to have a range, but omit one or two items from that range. For instance, let's say we want to view the balances for the range of accounts from 10010 through 17,000, but we want to exclude 16100 and 16900. This is where the subtractor operator is helpful because it allows us to exclude certain values in a range. All we need to do to exclude these values is to type in a semicolon and a minus sign before each account. Once we press enter, we can see the closing balance update. The subtractor operator can be used with the account group, account code, location ID, and books parameter to exclude certain values from a range in the debits, credits, turnover, opening balance, and closing balance functions, as well as the project, estimate, task, cost type, and item ID parameters in many of the Valixo project functions. Another common feature is the wildcard character, which allows us to add all entities that match a certain pattern. For instance, let's say we want to see the closing balance for all accounts that start with a 1. All we need to do is type in a single 1, and then use question marks to represent the rest of the account code. This tells Valixo to add all accounts that start with a 1 because the question mark denotes each of the other characters. Keep in mind that the question mark can be anywhere, so we can do something such as this to return different results. Learn more about Excel's native operators by going to help.valixo.com to find a knowledge base of information that will help you build your next Valixo enhanced workbook. Thank you for watching.